Did you know that desaturating your shadows can actually make your footage appear more vivid? Have a look at these examples, especially look at the darker regions. Even though the shots are full of life and color, it doesn't mean that everything is saturated to full tilt. Hi, and welcome to another mini Color Finality Pro tutorial. Follow along with our free 7-day trial, link in the description. This selective desaturation technique will help you get more neutral and perhaps natural darker tones when you need them. So let's take a look at two ways of removing saturation from the shadow areas so that the rest of the colors in your shots can really pop. Here, we've already applied the Color Finale 2 Pro plugin to clips on the timeline. We've also added primary corrections and a color grade to get a rough look down. Okay, here it is. Let's take a closer look at the shadow areas. Can you see that there's some saturation there? For our look, it's a bit too much. So we'll clean the shadows by bringing them into a neutral tone, while keeping the same level of saturation in the brighter regions. The first method is to use HSL curves. Add an HSL curves layer from the top of the layer panel. Now, the important step is to go into sat versus luma mode. This allows us to control just the saturation at any point along the luminosity scale. Here are the shadows, midtones, and highlights. We want to control just the shadows. Let's have a look at how they come up for us in the scopes. From image analysis, isolate a section of the shadow areas. The vector scope shows that there's some blue in there. Let's get rid of it. Hold command while clicking on the sat versus luma line to add a control point to the shadow regions. Pull down on the point on the left to remove saturation. Okay, let's isolate the same area again and have another look at the vector scope. We've removed the blue, leaving a neutral black. Here it is without the HSL layer, and here it is with the correction. We can do a similar thing with color wheels. In this other shot, the shadows are also blue, and the vector scope confirms this. Let's desaturate them. Select the color picker and sample the darkest value in the frame. What it does is that it finds a balanced tone for the shadows automatically. But we might find that it affects our overall brightness, so we can just use a master control slider for the lift wheel to bring it back up. And since we're in color wheels, we can go ahead and do some fine tuning. These two methods, using HSL curves and color wheels, can be combined to produce the best result. So working on the same example, after we've done our work in the color wheels, we can add in an HSL layer, go to the sat versus luma mode, and again lower the saturation of the shadows to completely remove any bias from these regions. Let's use image analysis again to check to what extent we've reduced saturation in the shadows. Here is the before and after. There is now more contrast to add drama to the shot, while still keeping a cool tone that was the result of adding in blue during the development of the look. Well that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial and consider subscribing to our channel for more tutorials like this. Leave any comments and suggestions below and see you in the next one. Goodbye.